first part is a little tricky. Do it right as he's about to turn. And it should go through every time. This one's the best. As soon as he teleports, that's when you throw it. Right about there. Now, you can use the buckler or carrion retaliation if you want, but I find golden parry is the easiest. Moonveil, you pretty much gotta throw your parry as soon as you see them twitch. It is super quick. Right about there. The way I do it, as soon as I see them move, I throw the parry. And I'm still not very good at it. The Moonveil always gets me. Rivers of Blood is the f really just the greatest joy they could have given me. The last part right there is the easiest to parry. But you can also parry the first two swings as well. Right about there when he starts coming down. Oh yeah. You just have to dodge the first two. Beautiful. Flame strike. Easy also. Just block the first and parry the second. Yep, as soon as he throws that flame and you block it, throw the parry and it should land. Easy peasy. This one's a little tricky. Sword dance. It hits hard. But if you get it right about in that area, you should be able to land it. The last part, the come down, is parable too. Right about there. Gravitas. Yes, you can parry the first part. I know. Strange. Right about there. And somehow, if you miss that compare the second part because you know they're gonna swing as long as you throw that parry after you get pulled in you should land it I was as, sh as shocked as you are when I learned this was parryable Right when he starts turning, throw the parry, and it should connect. Yes, this is parryable too, so believe it or not. It's a little delay when he stops, but as soon as he starts coming back up, that's when you set your mark. Glintstone Pebble is super easy. You dodge the first Glintstone Pebble and at the lunge, you throw your parry. And most of the time, it'll go through. This one was super easy for me as well. As soon as he stops, just throw that parry, and you get him. This one's very difficult to me, at least. But as long as you can dodge that little ghost, you can get the parry. Not bad. 
It's kind of a medium parry because of the the delay. Right about there when he starts to come down. That's where you set your mark. This is easy to medium for me. Right about there. But as soon as one swing goes by, I know to parry because the second swing's definitely gonna come. Wild strikes. I love seeing when people use that. Very difficult, <laughs> at least for me. You gotta parry as soon as they come up. Or as soon as they start. Problem is, you don't know when they're gonna quit using the weapon art so you just gotta try to guesstimate Craig blade yeah it's parable if you didn't know already first part and the second part the first part is the easiest just right about there when they start to come down. Eruption. Easy. I'm going to put this as easy because, I mean, it, it took me no time at all to get the timing of it. Right about there when he starts to swing his sword down. Giant Hunt. This gave me so many problems when I first started playing. Then I found out it was parryable right about here when he starts to come up. And yes, two-handed great ultra great swords are parryable as well with Giant Hunt. Impelling Thrust and Piercing Fang. When they get up right about there, throw your parry. And most of the time it should land. Unsheath, just about like Moonveil, only I found that it's a little bit more delayed. Right there when you start to come back up. This one I'm gonna say is medium difficulty. As long as you keep your distance, you should be able to parry it fairly easily. But if you're close and you miss, it's going to tag you. Right about here when he starts to turn around, that's where you throw your parry. Tips and tricks, the three hit parry. One, two, and parry. After the second hit connects with your body, parry, and it should go through. Right about there. Now this applies to axes, anything small as a straight sword. This is the block and parry for great swords. As long as you parry when he's coming up, it should go through. One-handed ultra great swords. As long as they're not two-handing, you can roll through the second hit and parry right about here. Jumping attacks. You block the incoming hit and you parry. Simple as that. When they start to come back up. I just throw a parry as soon as I get that block. The block and poke, as I like to call it. 
you block the first poke and you parry the second right about here works with all kinds of spears twin blades is another favorite of the tarnished in the lambs between as soon as they throw that first one parry and you should get the follow-up when people are just poking you like crazy you can just stand back with the golden parry and get a nice little parry right about here I always wait for the third one but I'm pretty sure you can parry the second one if you really wanted to the running attack You parry as soon as you see them hunker down or their weapon raised just a little bit. And it should go through. Same thing as Bloody Slash. You can parry any part of it really. But it does take time. Well, I hope this helped you. <laughs>